Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you guys I would be coming back. Well, this have been brewing for years. This this um live. I'm talking about years. That's all I can say. Years. I keep hearing this. Years. This been this been almost all my life. Let me just be real. This been all my life. What I'm getting ready to say. So let me go ahead and do my disclaimer because I'm I promise you. I promise you I'm about to make some folks mad. And it's on purpose. It Guess what? It is not by mistake. Everything I say, I truly mean. Everything that I say, I've been hearing from God for years. Church or cult. You know, I was going to this church in Sacramento. I ain't going to say no name today. But it, they, you know, they have like maybe 11, 12 churches in the same area. And i never forget that. And, and I was brainwashed too. I'm sorry I have to say it that way. But it was like, we're the best church. And, you know, if you don't go to our church. And I remember when I used to witness. This was in 2006, 7, and 8. When I used to witness to people, I would actually tell them that. I was like, you know, our church is the best. And, you know, this and that. And then God rebuked me. God said, Daniel, you can't say that. And, you know, I was a young Christian still growing in the Lord. And I said, well, I don't understand. He says, you can't say that because then... I have other churches that are good. You know, no no one church is always good and no one church is always bad. Now that I'm 50, I understand that. I mean, that's just the way it is, right? I don't care even if it's a good church, you're going to have some things going on in there. So let me get to the point I'm making. I'm so sick of y'all so-called churches. Some of y'all ain't nothing but cults. And I'm going to tell you why you're a cult. Because you don't want nobody to fellowship with the other people. Oh, I'm about to go here. Morning. I'm about to do it, God. I'm about to do it. I'm in a little town called Abbeville, Louisiana. And I know y'all going to get mad right here, but I really don't care. Come on, somebody. Y'all cults. Don't, don't go to that church. Don't fellowship with this church. Don't. I remember when I had opened up a little bitty um church on Laporte Street. And I, I just, hey, I just want to reach the people. I, I've never been in competition with anybody because I could care less, right? Because what, what God is assigned for you to do, nobody can do. What God is assigned for me to do, nobody can do. When Christians understand that one, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. We're going to stop being jealous and envious of people. Come on, somebody. Because no one can do your assignment but you. Because when you came to this earth, God put it in you. You can't do what I do. Come on, somebody. So you stop it. You can't. Because God didn't assign you. God didn't assign Sign me to do what you got to do. All right, let me let me bring it down a level. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to stop that, and that's why we have no unity. This church, you know. So when I was going in that church, it was like other all the other churches were so bad. And if you go there, then you're upsetting the pastor. If you talk to a person from that church, you're upsetting the pastor. So what's happening is that nobody wants to fellowship with each other. That's black or white too. I'm talking to all y'all. Can get mad if you want to. Come to me. Come for me, please do. So we can have a talk anyway. So we can finally get to the the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is y'all scared people gonna steal your members. Can I tell you something? You ain't got no members i'm gonna say it again you ain't got no members yes yeah, so ebonics this morning you ain't got no members that's jesus christ of nazareth church you know what you are you're supposed to be a steward hallelujah that's what i say he's that's his church you're supposed to be bringing people to him not to you oh i just said something you can get mad if you want to so now nobody wants to fellowship with each other because our church is the best no you're a cult that's what you are. You are a cult. You don't want to fellowship with somebody else. Well, you know, I, we don't do things that way. That's your problem. You've been stuck in religion for 50 years and you're trying to get stuck for 50 more. And you're wondering why these kids not listening to nobody because they see the adults not getting along. Oh, come somebody walk with me up in here this morning. Y'all want to know what's wrong with the world? The same thing wrong with the church. Y'all can't get along for five minutes because y'all jealous. Y'all envious. Everybody trying to be a superstar. Yeah, I said it like I said y'all don't even want to get together y'all keep talking about we have a problem in the community we have a problem in the community well guess what community y'all don't come together not even in the church and when y'all do come together y'all pick certain leaders yeah i'm saying it oh y'all can come for me and ain't nobody jealous it's just that's not how you do it if order to save a community it takes the community people Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's in every city and every state and every town. Blacks don't want to worship with whites. Whites don't want to worship with blacks. Y'all all out of order. I'm calling you all out. And you could come for me, please. I give you my phone number. What's up? Y'all out of order. That's why we ain't got no power in the church. 
Everybody want to be, uh, everybody want to be a star instead of unifying together. Let's find a solution together because when they see togetherness, then they can say, this is some real stuff. Let's listen to what they're saying. But when they see this one bickering against that one, that leader against that one, that one don't want to fool with that one. That one don't want to do that one. Can I tell y'all something? We all fall short of the glory of God. You ain't better than nobody. Pastor, preacher, apostle, prophet, teacher, minister. You ain't, you might have a little bit more money, but honey, you ain't got a little bit more anointing because everybody has their own anointing in their own right. Y'all need to stop acting like that. I'm very serious. It's disgusting and it's not of God. Your church ain't no better than the, the local church. Your mega church ain't better than the local church. Y'all need to stop that foolishness. And y'all wonder why we ain't got no power. Because we cannot come together unified. When we get to heaven, ain't no black section, ain't no white section, ain't no Chinese section. It's going to be one group. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, called the Church of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But yet y'all don't want that to touch you because I'm going to tell you, y'all all about a facade. If this church looks better and that church doesn't, and if that church has money and that church doesn't, what about the heart, the matters of the heart? Because guess what? People are getting killed in each city, in every state, locally and nationally and globally. We all need unity. Now that's true unity. I don't care what type of get together you get. If you don't do it the right way, then all you did was get together. You might as well just have a barbecue, baby. Yeah, I said it, I said it. If you're going to get together for real in every church on Saturdays and Sundays, and yet everybody can't come and get together, then guess what? All you got is a little fellowship between yourselves. That's one thing I never understood, and I'm going to tell y'all this right now. Here's the deal. I understand why God has empowered me and continue to empower me because I keep an open mind. I know Apostle Deanna Dixon can't do everything by herself. So I'm very open to work with almost anybody. Notice I say almost because if you're playing, don't come to me because I, I, I don't know what you're going to get. I'm going to be real with you because I only deal with reality and realness. I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but you do have to walk before Jesus Christ and do things in order because I am a person of order. We're not doing it the right way. That's why we have so much disarray in this world. And that's why the world can come into the church and tell us what to do because we're out of order. The, the enemy have come into the church and has divided us to where now it's the local, it's the mega, it's this, it's that. It's apostolic against Christian, it's Christian against Methodist. You Let me tell you something. First of all, that's not even biblical. All those things are not biblical. All those religions are not biblical. That's what I say. If you read your Bible, yeah, you'll see some things, but all those churches that y'all made up, y'all man-made, that's between you. You did not do it right. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm just going to tell y'all right now, y'all need to stop. That's why you ain't got no power. Oh, please come for me. I've been wanting you to come because you know you want to. You know you don't like me. And let me, why you don't like Apostle Deanna? Because Apostle Deanna, you tell the truth and you ain't got no, you ain't, that's right. Sometimes I got tacked, but most of the time I don't because I don't have time to play with y'all. We don't know when Jesus Christ coming back. And we got kids out here dying. We got people out here dying because y'all trying to be famous or y'all trying. Well, I don't want to associate with that one. And I don't want to associate with this one. Excuse me. When you were dirty, when you was in the gutter and some of you still slick, still doing stuff on the low, low. Don't play with me. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. You think people don't know? Especially in small towns. Everybody know your business, what you're doing, how you're doing it, when you're doing it. Yeah, I said it how I said it. Even in big towns. When I was in L.A. and in Hollywood, you'd be surprised. It's just everybody knew everybody's business. So everybody know who's real, who's fake, who's on the money take. Uh-oh, what's that money take, Deanna? You just in it for the money and God going to get you. God going to get you. Oh, come on, somebody. I know, I know this is uncomfortable. I get it. So what am I saying? It is time to come together for real. How do you come together for real? Do you have to be real? You have to put aside your differences. You may not like the way I preach. You may not like the way I teach, but you still should respect me as a woman of God. Y'all don't even want to respect each other as men and women of God. Oh, because if it's not this way, then it must not be God way. God is dimensional. God ain't never been traditional. I didn't read that Bible. I know what I'm talking about. God is dimensional, meaning that God do what he want, how he want, when he want. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all be trying to figure out and speak for God. The last assistant got fired, the devil. 
Y'all keep trying to assist God in doing his work when all he wants you to do is do some work for him. Hallelujah. Jesus came and him and his disciples in three and a half years turned this world upside down. We have Christians every day and yet all we doing is just sitting up there on the facade. What am I saying? You love to look good. You love to, you know, put a facade out there, but you ain't got no real power. The true power is in unity. The true power is in truth. The true power is forgiveness. The true power is receiving your brother and sister in any state. Because the Bible says, even if they're in a fallen state, help them. Come on, somebody. Re 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 renew them. Install them. Restore them. Y'all ain't ready for what I'm saying this morning. So even if they out of order, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're supposed to help put them in order. So there goes your thing about, well, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. We're supposed to come together in full and true unity. But like I say, y'all so blessed. Let me tell you about that blessed thing. If you're not blessed on the inside and just the outside, then all of it is a Pharisee and Sadducee tradition that is not of God. In the story. And I'm not going to take a long time on this subject because it's, it's straight to the point. Are you a church? No. Are you the church or a cult? Because cults won't let nobody in that don't think like them, don't serve like them, don't walk like them, don't talk like them. I just said something. I just said something. Because the church of Jesus Christ, he says, all have fallen short of the glory of God. None of us are good. We're all filthy rags. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's all I'm saying. All right. Um, if, if you don't like what I said, um, inbox me and I'll send you my telephone number and um, we can have a talk face to face or however you want to. Yeah, I said I said it. I don't play. Because most of you ain't got no power. And this is why you don't have a heart for God, because God wants unity in this hour. Put aside your differences. Put aside, I don't like her. I don't like him. What if God told you that? Because he sees your heart. I don't care how much you front on the outside. He sees your heart. It's a heart. It's matters of the heart. That's what we're going through in this latter days. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.